Hi, for Fit Fascia Tuesday, we're gonna do our head, face, neck, shoulders, arms, and hands. So, um, I'm going to use my face blaster on my face. Um, it is per Ashley that we use the face blaster because these tiny claws, our face is really sensitive. I am oiled. I'm using some almond oil. Um, I've been in the sauna. You can see I'm all sweaty and warm. And I like starting off on my jaw. I'm using very light pressure and just using some nice fast strokes. Um, you'll see that I get red pretty quickly and easily. Okay, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I started off right here on the jaw and I'm just gonna angle and go under the jaw. Moving towards my chin, back out towards my ear. Light pressure towards my chin, back out towards my ear. I'm gonna switch back to flush with my jawbone. In this nice movement down towards my chin and back out towards my ear. Okay, I'm just gonna come up a little and hit this line here. You can see, I think just, I'm just going back and forth. Any place on your face that um, you do not want to lose volume, like your cheek area, um, it's always good to have fullness there. I would recommend not blasting anywhere you don't want to lose volume, okay? So now I'm gonna come right under my chin and just do some back and forth. Again, I'm using light pressure. and bring it up onto my chin. Just kind of get into a motion from left to center to right, just back and forth, really light. You can see I have great blood flow going. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So light pressure, I'm just right at the jawbone. And you always want to be looking in a mirror when doing your face. Our face can respond very quickly and you don't want to be digging into an area and blasting um, where you don't, you know, want to lose any volume. Okay. And now I'm gonna rotate and just go to the underside of the jaw, up to my ear, down to my chin. Anytime you have an area where you hear crunchies and you need to spend more time on that area, just hit pause. All right. Okay, now we're gonna go up by our ears. Anyone with TMJ, this is a great place to work, right in through here. I like to then take, and I just kind of go up on the side and just go right under my, my, my job, my cheek line here. This also helps loosen up for TMJ. Anyone that has um, fullness here that they wanna lose, you know, go ahead and blast in that area. Um, I have a long, thinner face, so I don't really blast right here, um, okay? So, and then I'm gonna come up above, above my lip line. And I just have one claw going between my lips and these two up here are working. Light pressure. You know, we just wanna work that top layer of fascia on our face, very light, getting increased blood flow, 
so we can um, have better skin tone and elasticity from producing more collagen. Now you can also do your lips. You can line them and go right across them. Okay, and the other side of the face, I'm gonna do up on my, on my ear area. People have been noticed a plumping effect from their lips. Um, when you do face blast, it's just like when you have a facial, you may look like um, you instantly, like all your wrinkles have disappeared. And oftentimes it's just a temporary um, inflammation, you know, from rushing the blood to the surface. And um, a lot of times within 72 hours, you may still see the wrinkles. This may take, you know, several treatments. Now I'm coming up in to my temporal area. And this other side, I'm just doing nice and light. And then I'm gonna come up into my forehead. I'm just going some up and down, right up into my hairline. Again, you can see how quickly I get the blood flowing. You can go back and forth. Okay, and then I like to go in between my eyes. I just come right in here with these two claws. Back and forth. Again, I'm going very light. And I just do a couple across very lightly. You want to make sure if you do have the 11s, you're not in there digging in the fold line. We're trying to relax everything and restore. And then I just come right lightly, right over my eyebrow, really light. Okay, and then I come down on my nose. Again, these two claws will fit nicely on your nose and go over to the side. This is great for anyone that has sinus problems, any allergies. Okay, you can come out and do the end of your nose, and do the bottom. All right, so now um, we're gonna do our neck. So as you can see, you know, our necklines run right here. We have our traps. It's often a cause of a lot of pain for people. Um, I love using my face blaster on this area. Um, again, if you have a full size or mini, um, you know, all of the blasters are the, they all restore the fascia. The face blaster, the tiny claws are recommended for the face. Okay, and I want to go every direction here. A lot of times if you have tension in your face here, you need to come all the way down into your neck. All into these scalenes to release it. And again, you had your carotid artery, um, you know, that runs on each side. You know, just light blasting, you're not going to dig into your arteries and hurt yourself. Um, you know, your lymph and everything are in there. But we're just at the surface. I like to come all the way down to my clavicle. They all come down and attach in here. Right below it and right over it. Okay, I'm going to switch to my mini too. I know all of you don't have the face blaster. So we just need to do the back of our neck here. All right, so I'm just going to go back and forth. You can use whatever hand. I am dauntly right-handed, so I find myself always crossing my body to use my right hand. And it's nice to go each direction. 
cross fiber. It's nice to get right back up here and rock right across your spine. And let's switch to the other side. And right up here behind your ears, going across. And now I'm going to go back and forth. I don't want to fully extend and make that, I want to keep a little bit of space in there. And come around your clavicle. All right, now we're gonna to go to the arms and shoulders. Make sure you're oiled up. I'm just gonna apply a little more here. And, oops. Okay, we'll start the full length of our arm. Go up to your deltoids, down to your forearm, flip your arm over, back to your forearm, up on our bicep. up to your delt. Let's hit all the way around to our rear delt. I need a little dry spot here. Get across your elbow. Usually if you have any arm pain, it's right where everything joins right in here and in here. Um, golfer's elbow, carpal tunnel, tennis elbow. Make sure you hit those spots really good. Any numbness in your hands, it could be this area right here. Okay, and then for your underarm or tricep area, a lot of people call this bat wings. I like putting my hand up on top of my head. It's just nice and easy to relax like this. Remember, any size blaster works. I do like the mini or the face blaster the best on my arms, just for ease of use. Okay, let's switch arms. Get a little more oil. Again, let's start with some full strokes here. Light pressure and just at the skin. So I do like fast blasting. I think of it as I'm toning my arms. You go fast enough, you can get some cardio. Get down on your forearm. Come up to the front of the shoulder. Um, I like doing goalpost arms here, getting this front nice and open. Think of like if you're pushing through a doorway. Okay, let's get the back of our arm or rear, 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 rear deltoid. Bicep. Let's hit those connection areas. Right where all the tendons and ligaments come into your elbow joint. Both sides of the forearm. Okay, and now let's get our tricep. This is a problem area for you. Just push pause, 
Do a little more work here. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to blast our scalp. Um, I am all sweaty from preheating in the sauna. So you wanna make sure, especially with sweaty hair, it tangles real easy. I just take a fine tooth comb and I comb through so I can prevent some tangling. Okay, and again, any blaster will work. So what I do when I scalp blast is I'm very methodic. I start in one area and I'm just gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna go all the way back and forth down to my neck. Okay, so I started here. Now I'm just gonna move up one half a claw and go back and forth, just scrubbing. Any tension spots, you can hold it in that spot for a little bit. Any place that is tender is probably some damaged fascia that you need to release. This is great for migraines. Go all the way down to your past your occipital bone, into your neck. Okay, so I'm gonna move up again. This is our temporalis fascia. This is our frontal fascia here. You can see, look at my blood flow. So this is great. Um, it stimulates hair growth by um, the increased blood flow and brings the nutrients, um, yeah, extra protein, you know, to help your hair and it wakes up those dormant follicles. So you can see that, um, you know, when you just go uh, in a methodically, you don't tango. And if you do tangle, just pull straight out. Okay. Now I'm right here on the, on the top of my head. Next spot is going to be right here. This is your parietal ridge. It runs all the way like a horseshoe around your head. Okay, and the next spot over here, our temporal area. And our final spot. Here you can kind of use uh, one and a half claws. Okay, so that time I was going back and forth. Now what I would do is I would come through this way and do my entire scalp. I'm just gonna do it quick. You guys can do this on your own. I'm going back and forth this time instead of up and down, okay? It just helps you um, hit all the fascia. All right, and it feels so good to do your head. It's so relaxing. All right, so you can see, you can see all that blood flowing in there, okay. The thing I like to always finish up with is my hands. I love um, doing my hands last. I've had a tight grip on the blaster. We're holding our phones, texting, and on the computer, driving, our hands, they take a beating, okay? There's a lot of reflexes in your hands. The nerves are connected throughout our entire body. So you just wanna, I like taking my finger on here and just putting it right in between and then 
rotating around. Okay, then do all your fingers, your thumb. You wanna do the palm side. Just really get in there and scrub. Back and forth, back and forth. Notice I'm not doing hard, I'm just going back and forth. Okay, you wanna do both sides. If you have any sore joints or arthritis, just go all around the joint. Come in between your, your carpal, your fingers. Okay, and then that other hand. When you're blasting, you can go in any direction. No circles, circles tangle. Go around your fingers. In between here, my thumb. You can see even my hand getting blood flow. It's perfect, exactly what you want. And the top of your hand. Okay, final thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do some flushing. Flushing is just a soft massage. It's kind to the fascia. It stimulates lymphatic flow and um, blood circulation. It's great to do after you blast, okay? Nice to do up towards your heart. You can come back down gentle and up, All right? I'm just gonna do it everywhere we blasted. A nice neck stretch. You know, stretch out these traps. Just gently go to the side. Then the other side. Get some length in there. Your other arm, my hand, all the way up and down and up and gentle down. Nice to push out here. This opens up your pecs and my face. All right, and just run your hands, run your fingers over your scalp. All right, a good hand stretch. Just pull it back. Pull it back this way. Come to your other hand. You can interlace your fingers, open up your chest. It's a good shoulder stretch. Keep your shoulders down. And just push it out in front. All right, have a great day.